Hey everybody. Good morning. I hope everything everybody is well today. The start of a week should be great. Wait for some people to join. Okay. So today we're going to be making these um milk carton, creamer carton wallets. So that's what we're going to be making. Also, um, I forgot to put on there that I needed, that you needed paper and tape, but it's an optional thing. So once I get done, I'll show you the option also that you can do. Uh, I found that when you draw on this, because it is like a waxy paper, nothing really wants to stick to it. So my option is we could add paper or cardstock to it and tape it on there somehow maybe hot glue it on hot glue probably won't work because of wax but attach it somehow i would think tape and then you could draw on that and color it so that's the goal here um so what you're going to need is a carton of some sort you could use a bigger one you don't have to have a small one you do a regular carton size good morning um and then you're going to need a sharpie marker, a pair of scissors, and like I said earlier, if you have um, tape anywhere close by and some paper, this is just an optional thing to do. Okay, um, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to poke a hole in this to cut this bottom, and you got to be really careful with it. Um, so I have a hole poker that I'm going to poke with. I, the other one I did, I used the scissors, but that's kind of unsafe, so I'm going to use a hole poker to stab it. And, you know, I tried painting on it, and the, I used cheapy acrylic paint, and that didn't really work either, so I wonder if you could, like, sand it maybe, or maybe heat it up. I don't know. Nothing really took to it, but I mean, it's cute, and it's cute to make it look like just like a little Kramer container if you want to make it totally look recyclable. Recyclable? Okay, so you want to poke a hole at the bottom like that, and that's just so you could get your scissors in there. So if you need to poke like two holes, you do that. There we go. So then you want to put your scissors in and cut this off, all right? So really slowly, I would say cut right there on the edge of it, right at the edge. How's everybody doing this fine morning? Hopefully well. For those of you just joining, we're making these little um, creamer or milk carton, or if you have iced coffee, you could use one of those containers, uh, little wallets that you can use. Right? Okay. Um, hope everybody's doing well today. Turn down my volume. Okay. And then just cut the bottom off. And then you could just throw that away. You don't need it. Kind of try to get it really straight, you know. I did poke that hole, so it's going to leave a little thing, but it's not. that's not going to matter, all right? Okay, and then next would be um, you want to undo the top, so you got to be really careful about undoing the top because if you're not careful, you will rip it. So pull it apart. This reminds me of the milk cartons I used to have in school. Do they still have those type of cartons in school? Brings back memories. Okay. And once you have that, uh, you want to cut off some of the top up here. So cut some of that off. Uh, is pretty gross inside. 
Okay. Um, and next step is to take this and you're gonna, you're gonna take and kind of squish it. You're gonna try to squish it down, but you wanna make it even, right? So you wanna make sure it's even on both sides. And once you have it even, you wanna crease the, the carton, right? And then if you need to, you can use your scissors to, um, you know, really crease it good. So kind of get in there and crease it good. I would imagine you could do this with any kind of thick paper or anything and you could decorate it that way too. That'd be cute. You'd have to coat it with something like a protective coating, but, you know, all right. Here. I love making things and turning things that would normally go to trash into treasures. And this is great because, I mean, carry money around, like cards or whatever. Okay. Now, the next step is to take it again and push it back up the way it was. Back up like that, right? Oh, wait, no. Push it back down. Okay, once you have it pushed down and squeezed like that, you're gonna need to cut to the crease. So here's the tricky part. Like you gotta figure out how long you need it. So you're gonna take these, um, take these sides that, that you just creased and you're gonna push them in like that, right? So it should look like this. And then the trick is you want to fold this like this, but you have to figure out uh, how far your carton is going to fold over. So that's that's the trick. Finding the right spot to fold it so that when you do this, the whole thing folds over to the bottom, right? So you can make your hole to attach to the lid or whatever. All right, so then once you have that figured out, you want to take this kind of crease it a little bit so you know you know where it's at so you know what you're doing but once you have it creased you're going to undo it okay and then open it back up all the way like that again so it looks like a regular carton and then you're going to squish it back out like we originally had it right so like this now Hold on, let me remember. Okay, wait. So when you fold this like this, you're gonna, you're gonna remember how I showed you this. Well, you wanna, what you wanna do is you wanna crease that up there. That way you know where you have to cut. So I skipped a step. So squeeze. This is where you're gonna have to cut. So squeeze that really good. So you have that fold. Really work with it. For those of you just joining, we're making these little uh, recycled wallets out of out of a milk carton or a creamer container. You put the cap on. You could even open this up, throw your little change in there if you have change. It's kind of cute. Okay, and then once you have that folded like that and you know exactly where everything's going to be, all right, unfold it and then fold it back to the original spot. So the original first fold and crease. So back like this, right? All right, and now that we folded it down here, this is where we're gonna cut. We're gonna cut on that crease and we're gonna stop at this crease, okay? So cut on this crease, stop at that crease. And you're gonna do that on both sides. Because this, and do that on both sides because this is going to be your lid for your, it's gonna be your flap for your wallet thingy. Okay, so now it should be like this, right? Okay, and then you wanna cut this line and cut it off on both sides. Cut that off, and go on the other side, cut that off. Okay, 
okay? Now on this part, you can throw these away because you don't need them. Now on this part, now that you have this, should look like that, right? The side should be cut out. Okay, since you have that, now the next step is to um, curve your corners a little bit because that's going to make it look like this, right? So curve it how you want it. You could put a point or whatever. Don't cut too much off, just the corners, right? So this is how I'm going to do mine. This. Both sides. Okay, and then once you have that done, the next step, uh, you could technically right now would be a time you could decorate it. So if you wanted to decorate it now so the decoration would be all over it, that'd be great. Except, however, um, it takes a few seconds for the Sharpie to dry. So if you don't want to finish the project with me, you can, you can, um, hi. <laughs> um, if you want to wait, kind of let it dry a little bit you could decorate now that's up to you I'm gonna wait until I've made it and then I'm gonna decorate it so what the next step is you want to push these back in okay there's that thing is I do not have my cap for this so I'm gonna take the cap off from this one to use for this just because just because it, it's the same okay so then you're gonna take um, you're gonna fold your carton like we said right now, this part, now that it's folded like this, you're going to take this initial, the first one, okay? Sorry, my, my container got gross because I let it sit so long, even though I rinsed it out. I guess I didn't rinse it enough. But anyway, so you're going to take this and you're going to fold this over like this, and you're going to stick it in this first hole right here, okay? So fold it over and stick it in here and now the trick is to really kind of shove it in there so shove it in there if you're really having a problem getting it in there you can cut a little bit off so like right here I didn't cut it proper so like there's edge right there so I need to cut that off make it straight that's what I do now cut this off make it straight because it's a whole it's holding on a little too much it should be able to go in there somewhat easy. I mean, let me straighten this out. Okay, let's try it again. All right, so fold this over, stick it in that flap. There we go, now it's going in. And then you gotta kind of work with it to push it in there. You want it to go all the way down to this part, okay? So just work with it and push it in. And it should be like that now. See that? All right, so now that's now that's attached. And there's like several different pockets now in it. Uh, okay, so then the next step is you want to take your cap off. And you're going to fold your lid over. You're going to fold this over, okay? And then the lid works for this. So if you take the lid and you kind of rub it, that makes sense on this wax thing, it leaves an indent, and then that way you can cut it where you want it, right? So just kind of work with that, push on it. You can use anything that would scrape on it, but that works. Okay, and see how, see how that works now? Put an indent in there. Now you can poke a hole right there, poke a hole right there and cut that, cut that out, right? So be easy, there we go. And you can fit your scissors in there, and you can cut that out very easily. You don't, and if you cut a little too big, it should be okay because it it catches on this, and it's not going to come off because there's those little notches. So it should stay, it should stay closed. All right, follow it around and cut it out. And sometimes, like I noticed the first one I did, I didn't have it cut good enough, and so it wouldn't fit on. And I had to recut it. Okay, let's try it and see. Oh, yay! Okay, so look, now it's not going to come off. That it's attached right there. See that? 
Now, uh, accidentally, the let yesterday when I did this one, uh, it broke on me. It tore. So I just used a piece of clear packing tape to fix it. Works fine. All right. So now that you have that done, now you can go back and you can start decorating it with your marker, right? Uh, so I like to put like little stitches to make it look like it's sewed. Also, which would be really cool is if you had a sewing machine, you could actually sew this, put that down there and sew it and that would be really cool. I don't know about hand sewing might be a little hard, but if you poked, maybe if you poked holes in it first and then did the needle and thread, that would work. I think that might be really cute actually. Okay, so I did little stitches right there. And then you can decorate it so you can pull this off if you want and you can add little whatevers. I'm gonna draw some little, <coughs> pardon me, <coughs> some little cherries on it. I wish I had different color Sharpies because that would be really cute. So I drew some cherries. And you could draw whatever you wanted if you want to do like all different fruits. You could draw like a little peach. I love peaches. They're some of my favorites. You could draw a dollar sign if you wanted. <coughs> Just do whatever. I'm going to do like some little waves on this. My other one, I did little scallops. So this one I'm going to do a little different. Just some little waves. Should have done a wood grain, that would have been cute. And then flip it over, do the other side. Open it up, do the inside if you want. You could even decorate this part, the inside of this, if you wanted. All right, and then once you've got that done, put your little cap on. And this literally will last a long time. These don't wear out very quickly. So you can actually use this as an everyday little wallet that you made, which I think is pretty cute. People ask you where you got it. Anyway, that was fun, and I hope everybody had a blast doing it. Um, if you want any information on City Museum, you can go to citymuseum.org. We post all our information on there about the City Museum. Um, please like our Facebook page, which if you're watching this, you probably already do. Thank you for that. And uh, I'll be on tomorrow at 11 o'clock to do another fun project with you all. Hope you enjoyed doing a little recycling project and come back and see me tomorrow for another fun something. Thanks. Have a great day.